Have you ever wondered how the Mughal period shaped the Indian administration we know today? This era, spanning from the 16th to the 19th centuries, was a transformative period in India's history. The Mughals, a powerful dynasty originating from Central Asia, introduced a system of governance that was as intricate as it was effective. Their influence extended beyond architecture and culture, deeply embedding itself into the administrative fabric of the nation. The Mughals established a centralized system of administration, a novelty in a land of disparate kingdoms. Their rule brought about a uniform legal code, a structured bureaucracy, and effective revenue collection systems. They also fostered an environment of cultural and intellectual growth, paving the way for a societal metamorphosis. So, why is the Mughal period significant to Indian administration? Simply put, many of the administrative practices and structures we see today can trace their roots back to this era. Let's dive into the fascinating history of the Mughal period and its impact on Indian administration. In the early Mughal period, the foundation of a robust administrative system was laid. Like the first brushstrokes on a blank canvas, the early Mughal rulers, Babur and Humayun, began to paint the picture of an administrative system that would later become a masterpiece. Babur, the first Mughal emperor, set the ball rolling. He was not just a conqueror, but also a visionary who recognized the need for a well-organized administrative structure. Babur's approach was marked by keen attention to detail and a desire to bring about uniformity in the administration. He was instrumental in establishing a centralized system, replacing the fragmented and disorganized setup that had existed before. Humayun, Babur's son, inherited not only his father's empire, but also his vision for a centralized administration. Despite his tumultuous reign marked by political instability, Humayun made significant contributions to the administrative system. He introduced the concept of Mansabdari, a unique system of ranking government officials which played a crucial role in maintaining control over the vast empire. These early rulers laid the groundwork for a well-structured administrative system with a clear hierarchy and defined roles. They understood the importance of a unified command and the need for effective communication within the administrative machinery. They introduced reforms to ensure efficiency, transparency, and accountability, principles that continue to be the hallmarks of good governance even today. The early Mughal period was a time of experimentation and innovation in administration. The rulers were not afraid to borrow ideas from other cultures and civilizations and adapt them to suit their needs. This openness to learning and adaptation was a defining characteristic of the Mughal administration. The legacy of these early rulers was carried forward by their successors, who built upon the foundation laid by Babur and Humayun, refining and expanding the administrative system. Thus, the early Mughal period set the stage for the development of an efficient administrative system. This was a period of laying the groundwork, of setting the pieces in place for a grand design that would unfold over the centuries, shaping the administrative landscape of India. The golden era of the Mughal period under Akbar's reign marked significant advancements in Indian administration. Akbar the Great, renowned for his wisdom and vision, was more than just a conqueror. His reign was a golden age of innovation in administration, a time of change and reform that would forever shape the future of the subcontinent. One of Akbar's most notable reforms was the introduction of the Mansabdari system. This was a unique blend of military and civil administration, a system where ranks and responsibilities were assigned based on merit rather than birthright. No longer were positions of power a birthright, they were earned. The Mansabdari system promoted efficiency, accountability and loyalty, strengthening the Mughal Empire from within. But Akbar's reforms did not stop there. He revolutionized revenue collection, introducing a fair and efficient system that was based on careful land measurement and fixed rates. This system, known as the Zapt system, ensured a steady flow of revenue to the state, while also protecting the rights of the peasants. 
It was a delicate balancing act, but one that Akbar managed with aplomb. Perhaps most importantly, Akbar championed the policy of Sulikul, or peace with all. He believed in a pluralistic society where all religions were respected and given equal standing. This policy fostered an environment of peace, tolerance and mutual respect, uniting the diverse cultures of the empire under one banner. It was a testament to Akbar's vision of a unified, harmonious India. Each of these reforms, in its own way, fortified the administrative system of the Mughal Empire. They brought stability, efficiency and fairness to a realm that spanned diverse cultures, religions and languages. They laid the groundwork for a strong centralized administration that would endure long after Akbar's reign. The golden era of the Mughal period left an indelible mark on Indian administration. Through his reforms, Akbar created an administrative framework that would serve as a model for generations to come, a legacy that is still evident in the Indian administration today. The later Mughal period saw further enhancements in the administrative system. Jahangir, son of Akbar and the fourth Mughal emperor, ascended to the throne in the year 1605. His reign was marked by a well-structured bureaucracy which was divided into several departments, each headed by a minister. This efficient administration structure facilitated smooth governance and effective decision-making. Jahangir also introduced the concept of chain justice or Adl-e-Jahangiri, a bell rope for the common man to seek justice directly from the emperor, a testament to his commitment towards justice and fairness. He also advanced the revenue system ensuring a more systematic collection of taxes, which positively impacted the empire's economy. Following Jahangir, Shah Jahan took the reins in 1628. He's best remembered for his architectural contributions, like the Taj Mahal. However, his administrative reforms were equally significant. He established new provinces, further organizing the empire's vast territories and improving governance. He also strengthened the military administration ensuring the empire's security and territorial integrity. Then came Aurangzeb in 1658, known for his strict and orthodox rule. He focused on expanding the empire, reaching the zenith of its territorial expanse. To manage this vast empire, he further strengthened the administrative system. His reign saw the introduction of several new offices and posts, refining the bureaucracy and making it more efficient. Aurangzeb also introduced reforms in the land revenue system, like the Zapt system, which streamlined revenue collection and increased the state's income. His reign, though controversial, saw the Mughal Empire reach its peak in terms of territorial extent and administrative efficiency. The later Mughal period was a time of change and development, with each emperor bringing something new to the table. They strengthened the bureaucratic structure introduced effective revenue systems and expanded the empire, leaving an indelible mark on Indian administration. The later Mughal period fortified the administrative system, leaving a lasting legacy. The influence of the Mughal period on Indian administration is evident even today. This statement carries a profound truth. The legacy of the Mughal Empire spanning over three centuries, has left an indelible imprint on the administrative framework of modern India, shaping it in ways more than one. Let's delve into some key aspects. One of the most significant contributions of the Mughals was the concept of centralization. The Mughals established a strong central government with the emperor at the apex, a system that served as a blueprint for the centralized governance structure we see in India today. Next, we turn to bureaucracy. The Mughal administration was characterized by a well-organized bureaucratic system. Officials were appointed based on merit and were held accountable for their actions. This merit-based system of bureaucracy has been carried forward into the modern Indian administrative system, ensuring efficiency and accountability. The revenue system introduced by the Mughals was another breakthrough. They implemented a uniform system of taxation based on a careful survey of crop yields, land measurements and prices. This system greatly influenced the revenue administration in India with the principles of fairness and uniformity still being upheld. Lastly, 
Let's talk about justice delivery. The Mughals established a comprehensive judicial system with courts at various levels, ensuring justice was accessible to all. This has significantly influenced the hierarchical structure of the judiciary in modern India. In essence, the administrative practices and principles introduced during the Mughal period have not only survived the test of time, but have also served as a foundation for the administrative framework of modern India. They have been adapted, modified and incorporated into the current system, proving their relevance and effectiveness. The Mughal period, thus, has a resonating influence on the Indian administration that is felt even today. The essence of their administrative genius continues to guide the administrative machinery of the world's largest democracy. Standing as a testament to their enduring legacy, the Mughal period was a significant era in the history of Indian administration. From the early days of this period, we've seen how the Mughals established a robust system laying the groundwork for a centralized rule. This era was marked by a focus on law and order, revenue administration, and an effective system of communication. The golden era witnessed a flourish in the arts and culture, but it was also a time of administrative brilliance. The Mughals introduced land revenue systems, judicial reforms, and civil services that have left an indelible mark on India's public administration. As we move to the later Mughal period, despite the decline, the administrative machinery continued to function, leaving behind a legacy that has greatly influenced modern Indian administration. The echoes of the Mughal administrative system continue to reverberate in the corridors of Indian administration, reminding us of a rich and complex past.